you join me and the carp dog for 48 hours on the deep pit we'll be looking at a really underrated underused really secret little old school baiting technique that i haven't seen anyone mention for many years we've also got biscuit of the week welcome to the vlog Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, this channel's all about helping you to put more fish on the bank. We do reviews, we do vlogs like this one, we do how-tos, we, we do how to tie rigs and bait and tips and tricks. So you wanna be subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to enable your notifications by hitting that bell and you'll never miss another one of my videos that I upload. Look, here he is, look. Pork chop himself. The old steak bird, he's been in there, right? We got down about a couple of hours ago, had a walk around, spoke with a few guys. Uh, there's quite busy up the other end of the lake. I've seen fish up here already. So I didn't want to sort of start talking to you guys. I wanted to get the rods out, get everything sorted. Look, look at him, look. He ain't done nothing. He's been in there since we got down a couple of hours ago. Now, as soon as I start talking, he'd be out. He'd be barking a minute, he'd be running off. He'd be doing mad things. But yeah, it looks absolutely lovely out there. We've got 48 hours. I'm going to go through loads of different bits and pieces. I reckon we've got a really good chance. This is where we was when we had that absolute cracking 41 pounder. And, a, and another one the week before that. So we haven't been down for a few weeks because we had a walk of shame at the, at the park lake. We didn't catch nothing. But I've got a good feeling. And I've used this old school baiting technique, which I'll go through tomorrow. Managed to get the rods out. Now you may, you may, if you watch closely, work it out what the old school baiting technique is. So, so I've got the rods out and I put a bit of bait out, uh, got on the spots, used a little bit of foam and then put my bait as close to that bit of foam as I can because it's very weedy out there, lots of weed everywhere out there. Went on the same spots as I did last time, they're, they're actually a bit cleaner. Well, I'm not surprised the amount of bait I've been putting on there the last couple of trips. And I'm feeling confident. I've just seen my head and shoulder right on the middle rod. So what we're going to do is we're going to settle down, chill out, get the kettle on, watch, listen, get an early night, get up early, <coughs> and hopefully we'll have one to show you. Tomorrow's going to be talking about this baiting approach, this old school secret squirrel baiting approach. We're going to see plenty of him. Where's he gone? There he is, look. He's been, I've just had something to eat and he's in the wrapper. He loves it. So, I will see you in the morning. Just made a cup of tea, just getting all ready for the night, settled down, time is five to nine, about eight o'clock, taking the first sip of the first cup of tea, one turner on the middle rod, got down there, managed to get the chesties on, <sighs> just so much weed on the line, so I picked all the weed off, gone, lost it, I'm absolutely gutted, can't believe it, although I think we've got another chance of another, but they have stopped showing, they were showing really, really well out there bouncing all over the place they were i thought it's only a matter of time i thought we'd be first thing in the morning not about half an hour after dark but we've had the bite got to move on what can you do eh it's uh, just got to keep on keeping on put it behind you and look forward to the next bite hopefully we'll be getting one in the next 36 hours wounded i am absolutely wounded but we have got another chance of catching one. I'm gonna get the kettle on again, because it's cold now, my cup of tea, and I sit here, contemplate, if I did anything wrong, 
or not and and break the carp cod so we get another bite see you in the morning I'd like to say it's a good morning but unfortunately it's not because we lost that fish last night absolutely gutted and wounded absolutely wounded after that what can you do just one of them things took about an hour got them out there sat down had a cup of tea and the bloody um they started jumping again all night they were jumping and nothing more this morning no liners nothing i tightened up the lines because they were a bit too slack and i think that's why i lost the fish so i tightened them up but since then they started jumping like crazy all through to this morning and no fish no more bites but we got another night still feeling confident and obviously the baiting worked up because it wasn't long before i had a bite the little trick the little edge the little secret the old school baiting technique that i've been using now some of you guys will recognize the name violin it's an old school method like a ground baity type of uh, mix now it's a dog food it's a protein high in protein dog food it's got everything in there that a dog could want and if you mix water with it you stick all your chopped boilies in there and hemp and maize and you stick anything in there at all and it creates a real nice cloud effect you ball it up into into balls you use a catapult and you catapult it onto the spot you can stick anything in there you can even spot it out as well you put it in the spawn if you make it a little bit more uh, um, sloppy you can use it for zigs over the top and for about 10 kilos about 15 quid so it's quite it's quite reasonable and you can add whatever you like in there but I know from years ago I used it years and years ago and I was down here the other week and I thought I tell you what I wonder if the old vitalin on the weedy spots one would clear it and two would bring the fish in because it creates a lovely cloud it's like loads of bits of white bread type of you know bits and pieces flake maize and all that over the spot hanging up in the weed so it attracts the fish in and that's why that if you remember the last trip when we had to go they were fizzing up like absolute like a jacuzzi that's what they do when they get on that spot using the old vital in it can really do wonders or used to anyway so i thought well we'll give it another go so i'm going to be using that and have been using that last couple of trips and it's been doing well it's been doing all right so add a little bit of water into it add your bits in mix it up and if it's too sloppy add a bit more vital in little and often and then the, the trick to do is to leave it for about an hour or two because then all that water lake water soaks into it absolutely lovely hands it off and you can catapult it out with ease with ease it creates a lovely cloud initially and then it, it drops down really quickly because it's a really heavy ball isn't it and the fish just love it especially on weedy waters well any water really I'm surprised more people don't use it. There might be a few people out there using it, but it's like one of them forgotten secrets. So give it a go. There's various different types of vitalin, but you want the original, vitalin original, which is, as I say, about 15 quid for a 10 kilo sack. There's vitalin gold and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. Just get the vitalin original. Mix it in with your water and your bits and pieces. Leave it for an hour, boom, there you go. And catapult it out or hand put it out or even spot it out and i tell you what give it a go because it's definitely something that's been forgotten about and overlooked and it bloody works really well it's like most of these things that people forget about doesn't mean they stop working you just have to rediscover them so there you go that's what's that's my little edge that i thought i'd uh, share with you let me know in the comments below if you've used vitalin or still use vitalin or used to use Vitalin, or even if you're gonna use Vitalin. And contact me on my Facebook, on my Instagram, check out my Instagram and tell me about, uh, or even in the comments here after you've used it, how you got on with it. I'm gonna get the kettle back on, and I'm gonna sit, because it's still bite time, sit and see if we can get another bloody bite, then reorganize myself, redo the rigs, get them out there, put some more Vitalin over the spot, over the two spots, and relax and enjoy with me and the old pork chop. And uh, don't forget, we've got Biscuit of the Week coming up later. I will uh, catch you soon.
yes, you know you've been waiting for it. Biscuit of the week. It's that special time again, Biscuit of the Week. We've got a rather special one. I was in Morrison's, picking up some bits and pieces for this session, and these absolutely jumped out at me. Check these bad boys out. Look at those. Morrison's Coconut Biscuits. Look at them. Now, they're a little bit special, aren't they? 55 pence, and you get three, six, now four, eight, you get 12 in there. Unfortunately, there's only about six left. Oh, look, look, yeah. The old chief biscuit tester's out, and he? He can hear. As soon as, as soon as I say biscuit, biscuit of the week, he's out. He's, he's having a little drop of water, getting ready. He thinks I'm gonna give him a biscuit. But yeah, 55 pence, Morrison's. Coconut biscuits. They are, yeah, they're full of fat, so they're gonna taste nice and sugar, aren't they? Look at that, look. Look at that. They remind me, they're quite thin and crispy, I reckon. They're quite thin and crispy. Look nice. Definitely, mm, really crunchy, really coconutty. Absolutely perfect for a cup of tea, I reckon. A cup of Yorkshire tea. Oh, look, he's down here, look. Let's have a look. Right, what do you think? Yeah. Let's have the test. What he thinks. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, carp dog? Go on him, go on. Go on him. Thought he was gonna turn his nose up at it then. Well he likes them anyway. I don't think I've seen look, he's taking it. Do you know what? He didn't eat that, he's taking it to hide it somewhere, look. Look at him trying to hide it. Cheeky shot, he took the biscuit. He's taken the biscuit and he's gone to hide it, look. Is he near somewhere? Cheeky sod! The carp dog has done me. The carp dog has done me with biscuit of the week, hasn't he? He's hiding it. I'm watching him there, right? And he's hiding the bloody biscuit. Look. Look at him, look. Look at him in there, look. He's hiding that bloody biscuit. For later. That won't be there, the rats are getting that bruv, will they? He won't be. He won't have no chance with that, I don't think. Can't believe that. He's actually eaten. What well, no, well, he did eat it, he's hid it. Let's have another try. Very dry. But there you are, look at that in there, look. Very dry, proper crunchy biscuit. A proper biscuit, proper needs dunking in a cup of tea. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, blimey, I'm gonna get that kettle on. Get one of these coconut bloody biscuits from Morrison's, 55 pence. And I'll see you soon. That is Biscuit of the Week. Welcome back. Late afternoon, five o'clock, just gone five. I've got a couple of hours till it gets dark. Fish have been on top out there today. Taking mixers, guy over in there, swim over there. Don't even see him, but he managed to, at least one, I think, of our mixers. Schoolboy error, left me bloody floater fishing gear at home. So I've lost one last night, and I've left me floater gear at home, so I'm not having a good trip. Still got another night yet left, though. I'm fairly confident. It's all looking good for the last night. He's in there, somewhere, and it's just a matter of sitting on her hands and knees, getting something to eat, cup of tea, chilling out, and waiting now. Waiting, I've tightened up the lines a little bit more. So from the rod tip down, because I had too much slack line out, I think that's why I lost the fish. Went through too much weed beds. I couldn't get the line back quick enough, so I've tightened it up a little bit more uh, to see if that helps. But what can you do? There's no point keep on going on about it, so I just have to reposition the rods, put them out there. I know the bait's working, I know the method's working with the vital in. Keep on keeping on. One left night, right. Well, morning. Fortunately, nothing happened last night. Nothing at all. Gutted that we had our chance the night before. We lost that fish. I'm absolutely wounded. There we go, look. Last rod is on the dance floor. One last rod. Before we pack up, 
all the gear's packed up, pork chop's sitting there waiting. He wants to go home, he's dying to go home, he is. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate all your views, all your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and I'll see you for the next video.